When your mother leaves you an unwarranted voicemail for the third time that week, yes. call her back. When your father says he is proud of you for the first time in 10 years, do not hold your chin high. His pride is no consolation prize for the years you have taught yourself to be man. When your first girlfriend, whom you've only dated for two weeks, decides to call it quits, do not give up on love. Mostly because you aren't even sure that that's what it was in the first place. Mm -hmm. When your mother says she is getting a divorce, hug her. Remind her to not give up on love. Mostly because you aren't even sure that that's what it was in the first place. Mm -hmm. When you find a condom in your little brother's room, stay calm. When you find that the rapper is open, talk to him. Do not talk it up to circumstance. Let him know that every body that he comes into contact with matters. That women are not new lands to be conquered. That he is not Columbus. When your grandmother asks you to go to church with her, do not argue. Do not tell her of your belief that the church has become cancer. A good cell gone malignant, nod, and take the Bible with her name engraved on its binding. When your big sister says she hates you, laugh, smile. Let the love you have for her flood from the pores of your skin. Stand in awe of her beauty when she proceeds to call you Abel and herself Cain, laugh, smile, and then place anything that resembles a bat near the doorway. You know how that story ends. When your mother says he pushed her, ask if she needs help. When she says no, pray for her safety, and then place anything that resembles a bat near the doorway. You know how that story ends. When your friends with canine-like vision, colorblind to the world, say that you're not really black, show them what really black is, what black actually means. When your teacher gone plantation owner finds the gall to call you boy, do not raise your fists. Do not go down swinging. You were not born into a family of martyrs. Martyrs don't get to make families. When your mother leaves you an unwarranted voicemail for the fourth time that week, call her back. When you finally find your worth in another human's chest, do not become leech. Do not bury yourself into their expectations. Instead, learn the difference between rock and anchor. When your stepfather raises his voice to you, do not become mute. This is not his home. He bored holes into the walls of this foundation. Instead, be, instead become carpenter. When your stepfather raises his voice to your brother, become animal. Rip larynx from throat. Refuse to back down. Do not regret any of it. When your stepfather raises anything to your mother, become king. Cannon, fire with will, raise all defenses, destroy anything and everything that comes your way. Remember, you were born of the wind, so you are accustomed to blows. The first time the girl whose veins supplied the ink for your poetry hits you, you probably deserved it. <laughs> when she hits you again, leave. When she tries to get her hands around your neck, leave. When your name shoots from her lips like venom, and she rears back to strike, remember, snakes were the first signs of sin. They were cast from the Garden of Eden, and while they may seem small, they have been known to take down elephants, and you are no elephant, but know your worth. You are Mount Olympus to Greek mythology. You are Shakespeare to Elizabethan tragedy. You are noseless Sphinx to Egypt. You are important. You are alive. When you call your mother, and she doesn't answer the phone, and you leave the first unwarranted voicemail in her inbox for that week, wait for five minutes and call her back. Thank you guys, I'm Ryan J.